Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add amazing mobs like these uh, into the game really simply in under 10 minutes and this is such a simple process as you can see I've added so many mobs here uh, this is just since Minecon because it's a feature that they added there uh, but yeah, let's get right into the video So guys, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your block bench installed uh, this is the uh, app that you need to make your own models and stuff. Uh, uh, official Minecraft developers use it as well. It's really well made. Uh, I'll have a link to the web page below where you can download it. Um, and then when you've, got, when you've got all that installed, what you want to um, do is in here you can see in File, you go to Plugins, and then on Available you type... Um, uh, what you type is the um, Bedrock uh, Minecraft Entity Wizard. So if you just type Minecraft Entity Wizard into here, it'll show up and you press install. And then it will pop up with this um, tab up here. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to click on it and it says create your own entity. And it will show you how it will help you with the process of doing it. I'll walk you through this as well. So you click on let's go and then what you want to do is you want to put in the display name of your like um of the mob that you want to make so i'm going to put in um pearl which is the name of one of my cats and then what you want to do is this is like the identifier so if you wanted to give yourself the spawn egg what you do is uh this is what you put in to um the command so you could give yourself a spawn egg but you won't need a command so what you want to do is I'm going to type mate ball you can't have capital letters here upper case letters so I'm going to delete that there and then you put a um, colon in and then what you want to do is just put in the same here so after that what you want to do is go on appearance and this is where you choose the mob that you want your your mob in the game to look similar to so i'm going to choose cat but you can choose any of these and it'll give you like the base model and you can edit them later like say if you chose the dolphin what i was showing you in the intro was what i did is i replaced the dolphin texture and i made it a pink dolphin which is pretty cool and then you can click on next and you can choose a different behavior for the um for the mob so what you could do is you could have a, a chicken with the behavior of a creeper or something like that um so that just helps you make more customized mobs which i think is really cool but i'm just going to go with same behavior and then that will just basically make it a similar behavior to the mob in game and then spawn egg you choose you can either choose custom texture where you can select an image for the texture in the game or you can have none but you'd have to get the mob from commands um, so I recommend going with the base thing here Here you can choose a colour for your um, for your spawner so you can choose the base colour and the overlay colour like that and then what you do is you click on export and you can either do um yours might look a bit different because i've already done this before you can either export as a mc add-on which would generate a file that you can send to your friends or you can upload to a website uh, you can integrate into an existing pack which is what i'm gonna do i don't think you'll have this option but as soon as you've made one of these you will so i'm gonna click on the pack that i already have here um, or you can make a custom folder and it will get exported to Minecraft straight away. Uh, so I'm going to integrate it into my existing pack. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to click export. And then now you've done that, what you can do is you can click on edit model. And it will bring up a model of what you want to edit. So I'm going to edit this, this a little bit. I'm not going to fully edit it because that would take quite a while, but this is what you want to take most time on. As you can see over here, there's all the different, um, all the different 
um, textures for the cats. I'm not sure if you have to re if you'd want to retexture all these, or you'd have to delete them if you just wanted a single texture. See here, it's got a collar here. Um, but I'm just going to retexture this guy a bit. Um, maybe, maybe put a bit more like black patches around. Obviously, you spend quite a bit more time. This is what I spent most of my time doing when making my own custom mobs in Minecraft. Uh, it is really cool though because it just makes it so easy to add. So if you have a pet that you want to add into the game that they were showing in Minecraft, uh, Minecon Live, uh, it just makes it easy for you to add like your own pet, which is really cool. Um, so now that I've done this, what you want to do is you want to click on File and Save Project, and then you just want to click on Save. And then when you've done that, what you want to do is you want to launch your Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft. And this will work on all versions of Windows, I'm pretty sure. Uh, at least Windows 10 and 11. I'm using Windows 11 so it will work on 11. Um, I'm pretty sure it will work on Windows 7. Um, but yeah, it should. And then what you want to do is... I'm going to open this world that I already have, loaded up with my with my add-on pack, but what you do is you go into your world settings. So as you can see, I've already got some mobs here that I have added to the game. So I've got a perch, or like a sturgeon, or the um, pink dolphin that I showed you in the video at the start of the um, video, which is really cool. Um, and then hopefully if I come in here, you can see spawn pill. And if we get, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, no, there you go. You probably have to delete the texture of, um, the other cats, but, or you'd have to retexture them all. Um, but as you can see, it's added the custom cat into the game. Um, so it's a really easy way to add your own pet into the game. Obviously, if you did it with a wolf. It had just retextured the one wolf, but with this one, you might have to get lucky in the village that you find it. Or you might want to retexture the most common coloured cat. Or if you're retexturing for a, like a current world that you're in, you might want to do that. So yeah, that is how you can really easily add your own mob into the game. Um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, tell me what mob you're going to add into the game. Because I think this is a really cool thing that Mojang have added to the year. That Mojang have made it available for us to do. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm going to go and add a pink chicken into the game. And I will see you later. Bye!